Hello, my name's Jordan Kettle and welcome to School News. I'm standing in for Georgie Hughes this week because she is ill, allegedly. Anyway, now, I hope you've all had a lovely half term. Firstly, it's been in the news over the last few weeks that many schools over England and Wales are starting to be concerned with the amount of time students spend on their consoles. Some schools are even telling parents to try to reduce the amount of time children play on their consoles. I report on this. As a result of the newspaper's headlines, School News decided to do a survey to see how long students spent on a console on a typical weekend day. The results shown that more than 21% spent longer than 8 hours on a typical day. Um, the fact that 25% uh, of our students appear to play on Xbox for more than 8 hours a day at the weekend uh, explains a lot in terms of the uh, occasional zoned out kid I get in my lessons. Um, but generally, I'd, I, I find that quite surprising that they actually spend eight hours a day on there. Um, and I do question why they're allowed to do that at home. Um, I think it's a lot. Um, although I, I have, I think, you know, video gaming is an a, it's a good, it's a fun activity to do. It's an enjoy, it's an enjoyable activity. I think that, it, like anything, you, there has to be a balance. The student has to basically say, you know, this much time on the console and this much time either outside or doing schoolwork. They can't let it take over their life. But I think you could say that for anything. But they, they are, games can become quite addictive. And In other news, on the last week before half term, a very special basketball match took place. Students played against their teachers. Our Raven reporter, George Bolsh, had a look at the events. On the 12th of February 2013, students, staff and reporters took to the sports hall to play a game of basketball. This was a rather special game as bas of basketball, as it was students versus staff. We looked at the preparations of the staff's team. If I say so myself, I was quite appalled. So, we're just going to go and take a look at how the teachers are preparing for this basketball match. Excuse me, sir. How, are, how are you preparing for the basketball match, Miss? Um, I'm just topping up on energy levels, ready for the basketball match. And what's Miss Blaine is our nutritionist. Uh, I'm, I'm just getting in the zone. <laughs> um, yes, we, we, we're just we're just limbering up. Our first practice of the season. Um, what time should we leave it till about five to four? We kick off at four, no we don't, we tip off at four. We'll, we'll start practicing about five to, we don't need much practice. I, I think when you've got it, you don't lose it. What are the rules? Good afternoon, Mr. Summers. I have you warmed up for this basketball game at all? Not at all, no. What stretches are you planning to do? I'm trying to do the sitting down stretch, where oh. I sit down until the game starts. Oh. Uh, that's oh. about it. Oh. We noticed Miss Main has done the sit down and eat crisps stretch. Yeah. Will you be following it's that It's a stretch? strict training regime yeah. with, the, with the staff team here. Um, how, how does this link to politics as your head of politics? It's incredibly political because it shows the importance of looking after our older senior members of society and giving them regular things to do so they don't become uh, layabouts and burdens on the states. It's incredibly political. Thank you. It also has something to do with image rights because I'm not allowing them to go on. Okay. Two people at the front. I'd say, I, 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 if you record this, you might be giving us some tactical ideas. We're doing our tactics. In conclusion, this basketball game was a very worthwhile experience for the students. Although they lost, they showed extremely good sportsmanship and did not did not swear at one point. Thank you. Uh, 
sort of six-fold turnout, so it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> now the other headlines from school news. A-level drama students took to the stage in front of a large audience to be examined for their final assessment. Students wrote, directed and performed in their own plays. Uh, yeah, there's always, you know, there's always more to be done, but with the time we've been given, I mean, we've only got half an so hour. So you, you were given a relatively short period of time? Right, it's just uh, we're, we're only given half an hour to do what we want. What about preparation? Oh yeah, we, 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 we've definitely got enough for preparation, it's just we'd always like to include... So explain your costume. That's all we've got time for this edition. Next edition I'm going to be at Worcester University to have a look at the winter sports games. I'll see you then. Goodbye.